Hello and welcome back everyone to Let's Play Fallout 3. Last time around, we helped out Big Town and got a new gun. This time, there's some um, little something we can do down near Super Duper Mart. Now, where is that kid? He should be around here somewhere. There he is. Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. Those what? What's the matter? Those things. They keep coming. They scare me. Make it stop. Hey, calm down. It's gonna be okay. I promise. You won't leave me like all the other grown-ups. You, you can help me. I'd like to help. But I need to know more. Those big things. They're all over Greenwich. And they killed everyone. Please, mister. Please find my papa. What happened to you? It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to DC. There were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. I think I'm the last one left. Those things took everyone else. Did you know the others in town? Nah. People don't like to stay long in Great Itch. The DC ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. In fact, Papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been here for maybe a year. Who else lives in Great Itch? Um, besides me and my Papa, there was... Doc Lesko, who stayed with us, and Will Brandis, and his Mama and Papa, too. I... guess they're all gone now. All right, then. All right. What is it? I'll look for your father. You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign and the old diner. Please, find my papa and make him come back. Is there any way you can hide while I search? Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it. But I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry back. All right, then. President of the United States, you have my. I hate those things. Where the hell is he going? I suppose he's going back to Great Itch. Yeah, they leave him alone. Oh! And I'm on fire. Fantastic. Don't need any of that. You have discovered the great itch. And bloody fantastic. Uh oh. You're a biggin. You're not. Do that again. How can you even tell what I'm doing out here? Anyway, let's check the house. Being that it's only like 20 meters from the shelter that he's in, I don't know why he couldn't check it himself. Yeah. Mr. Wilkes is not very alive anymore. Well, time to leave the dead man's house. Not terribly much. Mostly ammo. Now, before we go tell him. One, I want to make sure that there is nothing else of interest around here. Well, there's nothing here, that's for damn sure.
President. John Henry. Where's that radio? Brandis has had a missile launcher. Um, I'm gonna venture a guess and say these people were a bit more than paranoid. Huh. And that's pretty much it for the closed in houses. Let's go talk to Brian. Now I know what a TV dinner feels like. Come on, tell me already. Uh, I think I have some bad news for you. Oh no. What happened? Your father's dead. Sorry. He's... He's dead? I guess I already knew. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. I'll stop whatever started this. I promise you. You gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I had met you a long time ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing all this. I'm feeling better now that you're here. Mm-hmm. Gotta go. Please be careful. I don't want you to die either. Not much chance of that. Is my sniper rifle? Come on, I should be able to hit him from this range. Well, yeah, I am hitting them. God damn it. This is such a great one. Kirschblatt. What? Where are you? Oh. Oh. Ah. I do not want roasted scallop for dinner. station. Switch to a shotgun. Laser your face. You may have noticed I'm not worrying about stealth. Because especially with this gun, I don't need it. There we go. What the? Huh. Nothing in these. Nope. Hi. Oh. Wow, they've got range on that. Alrighty then. That's a bad idea. Ooh, and I am hurting. 
a lot. There we go. Am I gonna burn? Alright, I'll let him come to me. And then... Zap! That's how you gotta fight these things. From behind cover. Uh-huh. Phil, you startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. Uh-huh. And just what the hell are you doing down here? Well, I might ask you the same thing. You're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimental area. You call this a lab? I've chosen this room as a temporary retreat from which to contemplate my erroneous figures for my experiments. It may be a bit dark and damp, but such annoyances will not stand in the way of science! Uh-huh. And how about we start experimenting? by decorating that wall with your brains. Oh my, such rude behavior. I'll have none of this from you. I have far more important things to do. Oh, goodness me, that rhymed. How marvelous. Uh -huh. I'm finding your interruptions trying. The slightest mistake because of your distractions and my experiments will be ruined. Good. What do you mean by experiments anyway? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait, I'm a scientist, how marvelous. Mm -hmm. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Uh -huh. So you're trying to make them smaller over time by injecting the eggs bad idea. My word, you understand perfectly. How marvelous! So, what's gone wrong? Well, I'm afraid I've made slight miscalculations in the mutagen. Instead of lowering their size, the brood hatched with a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but but I can't get near my equipment. I'm shocked you didn't attempt this on a controlled environment first. Your knowledge of experimental procedure surprises me. As does your Indeed, lack of them. I have skipped a step and directly modified an entire brood. Perhaps I was too hasty. I was so certain it would work. To correct this mistake, I'll need to get to my terminal to modify the mutagen. And what exactly do you need? My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. 
If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. It's a queen's concern. Why not deal with it directly? If she were harmed in any way, months of data would be lost. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Filthy little abominations. And just how will this undo the mayhem you've caused? I've rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? <sighs> if, it'll st if it'll stop the ants from burning down Great Itch, I'm in. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. All right. Much to do, so much to do. Mm-hmm. Now, before I get down, what do I have in the way of mines? One. That's right, I used up most of them. Protecting Big Town. Oh well. We'll just have to try and get the jump on these things. Oh, there's one right there. Thank you, Silent Running. And zap, zap. There's another one right around this corner. Nice. So glad they're not bunched all together. Oh, like that. Oh, hold back. All right. Let's go. As soon as he rounds that corner. Come on, show yourself. There you are. And one last time. Right in the face. Oh, there's another one. Ow! I'm burning. Again. <sighs> right. So that's the five guardians. Hi. There. And that would be the queen. I've got a special present for you. put down this protectron. And clean pheromones, they might come in handy later. <sighs> really? Whatever. Next time I level, I'm putting science up to 50. Alright, Dr. Wackadoodle. I've detected some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Work is done. 
Oh, how marvelous. Please, tell me what happened. Ant Queen, go boom. What? How could you do such a thing? It was for the greater good, Lesko. Man isn't ready to play God. Perhaps man isn't ready, my friend. Not today, but maybe someday. I suppose I shouldn't be angered by your actions. Forgive my impertinence. Yeah. Nah, I'm not taking any mutant bio enhancer. So, what will you do now? Well, I will continue my research. There has to be a way to reduce these creatures to their former size. Until then, I will be staying in my shack next to the Wilkes' home should you ever wish to visit me. Mm-hmm. And what should I do about Brian? You should take him away from this place. Find him a home. It would be difficult to accomplish my experiments with him scampering about and asking an interminable amount of questions. Can't you take responsibility for his father's death? All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the moral high ground. If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time and energy spent will have been for nothing. Mm hmm. Yes? Screw you. Much to do, so much to do. <sighs> All right, back up to Brian. Now, there's not gonna be any talent company here, is there? Yep, there is. All right. Oh, shit. Ow. I guess it was. Drilled your face. Who's there? I want this. Got you. Ow. Show yourself. Where is you? Keep firing. There you go. Oh, shit. Get the cover. Come on. Stick that head up one more time. I dare you. Ow, I'm almost dead. This one's head on a fucking plate! He dropped his gun. There we go. Almost every single time I come out of that. It's really annoying. Alright, Brian. Ha! Huh. Stupid monsters! Can't get me in here! It was so weird. All of a sudden... The ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm just glad you're safe. I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did, but I never really had much to start with. I guess now you'll be on your way, and I'll have to try living here by myself. Hope you'll come back and visit someday. I can't leave you here alone. Let me find you some place to live. Really? You mean it? Oh boy, thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Just don't forget about me. Mm-hmm. See ya. I wish you could stay here with me in Grey Ditch. Alright. So. I'll find him a home in the next episode. So, until then, thank you for joining me for this episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. Until next time, see you later.
wasteland, 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 wasteland,